Hi, this is Hungry News and I'd like to say thanks personally to anyone who watches this show because taking interest in a small country like this, especially with all those politics and stuff, is very, very admirable. Or you're a government agent. Now, if you're a government agent, first of all, you're very naughty watching this because I don't intend to talk about, talk trash about my country. I wouldn't like to say anything, but what needs to be said, then it needs to be said. So, <coughs> about that. Uh, there is a, a device called, well, it's a translation and I haven't had the chance to look through the web for it, but it's called some kind of laser blocking device. The intention is that we have uh, speed control cameras which operate with uh, a laser beam and a camera, of course. Now, if you block the laser beam, then obviously uh, you disturb this machine and it cannot record your uh, actual speed. So, basically, there is no speed control for you if you have any uh, of this. So, naturally, every government or members of parliament has this one of these devices. So, if you see the irony in this sentence and in this uh, thing, then you're right because there is a little bit of irony. Now, when it came in 2003, there was an act uh, in progress, well, in, in uh, what's it say? So basically, there was a law uh, about these machines, there's about these devices, that it's prohibited to own one of these. Now, after 2003, this got erased, which was very strange, but no one cared. And uh, basically, uh, nowadays there is a lot of lawsuit going on with about these machines and because the members of parliament uh, have it a law naturally cannot be formed it's been tried by a smaller party but the major parties doesn't don't like it and it's only natural because you know if someone told you that well that is the case, you have to lose your stuff and you you cannot speed, then what would you say? Honestly, so I don't I don't really blame my government. that's the not that's not the worst thing they do. The worst thing they do is uh, uh, to you know there's GDP and there's the growing GDP with every country. basically, if you, uh, as a government, if uh, you are able to make it grow, then you're awesome. If you make it shrink, then, or, you know, make it into a negative, uh, the growth uh, value will be negative, then you're screwed, because everyone will hate you. Now, uh, in the beginning of the year, uh, the, estimate, the, the estimated growth was three uh, percent. This was estimated by our government. It was very nice. Three percent in the year. Three percent is good. I don't know about you, so please, that is the question. What is the GDP growth of your country? Do you go up? Do you go down? But moving on, that was very nice. Of course, it was an estimation. Now, the official, because it's in the near of the end, the near of the year near we are near at the end of the year that's that's one that's the one i wanted to tell you uh now it's it's five no not five 1.5 1 1.5 1 is well it's still good it's not that awesome but uh well it's okay however this is a government estimation for next year but uh 
the thing is that the banking system and the economists estimate about 0 0.9. Now, imagine that we started with 3 with estimation and in reality it's 0 0.9. The budget was made for the 3%. Uh, our citizens have been asked or have been told to give up their personal um, pension accounts and uh, this couple of billion foreigns were uh, integrated into the central um, budget and with that and with many other restrictions people will be very very unhappy to hear that our government is incapable of doing their job. Of course it may not be the case because you know this is an estimation but in Hungary uh, the lack of information is uh, quite standard and of course the, the lack of trust because of the lack of information is also a standard. So when someone mentions to a Hungarian that well uh, uh, the reality of the GDP growth will be far below the estimation then generally you know they rage a little because uh, after the after the end of the communist era uh, things seemed very happy because uh, democracy and freedom kicked in and now after 20 years more than 20 years actually uh, our government doesn't seem to handle this democracy thing very well of course we are the people and we elect our governors and uh, we elect our members of the parliament so well it's really everyone's fault of course but normally if you are on, in a position a very important position such as a member of a parliament you use a laser blocking device you estimate a 3% uh, GDP growth but we get only uh, 0 0.9 and you don't really give us information about your plans and about what you are trying to do we uh, generally we are not a really trusting people so we don't trust you so no information, no trust, uh, no capability of doing a, a good work in a government and using uh, seen to be illegal, illegal devices. That is not a good picture about Hungary. So when I talk about this, it's really, really a big problem because um, one might ask that why I do not talk about uh, happy stuff but this uh, what I was talking about for a couple for the last couple of minutes were the headlines in our um, very popular uh, news portal so I really like to talk about some happy stuff you know GDP growth and uh, far beyond the estimation and uh, the honor of our uh, MPs but that's not the case so of course I'm only one person I cannot change the whole world or at least one country with 10 million people in it but um, if any government agent seems to think that uh, they would like to do something about it you shouldn't arrest me because saying these horrible seem to be horrible things uh, you should really do, do something okay so that, that's just what I wanted to tell you if you know any government agent we don't know we don't live in a cold war era anymore of course but it's fun to think that uh, some sort of Hungarian CIA would watch these stuff for example you know the average user watches the this show I don't know 
10 people, 20, 50. I really should get into statistics, by the way. So uh, maybe 50 government agent uh, watches it and you. But this is not what I, where I wanted to go when I started the video. So I believe that I uh, completely and utterly destructed this, this subject. So after this mayhem, I would like to say goodbye because that is a very good idea. I think it's a far better idea than talking and going on with this. Okay, so goodbye. And this was Hungry News.